beauties and welcome back to my channel and this video where I'm gonna show you my setup here on in my room it's starting to get a bit dark in Sweden so I'm gonna have to hurry up a bit but I wanted to show you my filming setup and I am basically gonna show you my lights my camera and my lens and where my chair is and how I have everything set up all the equipment that's a very that's very techy of me I'm gonna put that down below in the description box if you want to see what I am using I've also put where I bought it but I don't really know where you can get a hold of it and I hope you understand that because I'm living in Sweden it's really hard for me to explain it's also a bit of a mess in my room should I really be showing this today yeah, I'm showing you this today. I'm gonna try and get rid of some of this mess so we can move around. But I'm gonna show you how my setup is because I know a lot of people have been wanting to see this. I've also actually ordered another lamp, another light, because I'm gonna light up my background a bit. I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do it, but I am gonna do it. I do have something small down here, but it is not enough to light up anything. And Sweden is a bit of a black hole right now. And my setup works so much better when I have light coming from the back. If you are struggling with your videos and you feel like the colors are dull or anything like that, I will say that the best way is to put some light in the background. May it be something like this, may it be some candles, may it be something like this or like lights here. Something light in the background. I love having the window in the background but that doesn't really help when you're living in Sweden aka the black hole because we're in December now and mm, yeah it's not really ideal. But that is how I got the best quality. It's just to get some light from the front and to get some light from the back. I also wanted to discuss a bit about my settings. Um, I will put my settings down below but my settings only 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 work if you have a uh, a lens with a very very short uh, f-stop i have my f-stop at 1.8 that is what's giving the blurry background if you don't have that my settings will not work for you at all so settings is something that you're gonna have to figure out on your own the best advice i can give you is to just keep trying if it's not perfect keep trying do some research i watch so many YouTube tutorials on how to perfect your settings. I will say that the most common mistake that I see with like settings is that people do not set. First of all, you need to film on manual. You need to film on manual because as soon as you hold something up, for example, something that is white like this, if you have not put your settings on manual, as soon as you put something light up, everything everything is gonna change because it's gonna be like oh my god so much of this is white i need to change the settings and that's when you see videos where the settings are changing throughout the video it's because they are not filming on manual i have everything set on manual and i think that is the best thing it is a bit more tricky but it will as soon as you figured it out you're gonna love it it is a bit of a learning curve but as soon as you figured it out you're gonna love it so put your settings on manual that is my biggest tip oh and i wanted to mention the biggest mistake i see i'm gonna put mistake but some people are like i can't believe why i don't get good colors or why my everything is so yellow or everything is so cool and stuff like that and i will say that putting your white balance on manual and actually picking a white balance that is the best and easiest way to perfect your videos because when I hold something up like this the white balance is gonna adjust to having a bunch of white in the video and that's not ideal so put your white balance on manual and pick a setting either you can do a manual white balance setting uh, which is a bit tricky I haven't even done this and I don't think I need to or you pick one of the settings that is already available I have uh, picked fluorescent light I think or did I pick I think I picked fluorescent light because my lights are very white and very bright I think a lot of people would uh, benefit if you're filming with natural daylight that is not the best setting for you but for me that is the best best setting also if you are filming with an advanced camera and you can fix a bunch of settings if there is a portrait mode pick that one because that is going to make everything look the best because it is you that is in the frame if you're filming youtube videos with beauty that is if you're filming yourself like this like i am right now portrait mode is going to be great for you also if you can change um 
sharpness and contrast in your videos, put those at the lowest. And if you need to put them up, you can do that in the editing mode. It's better to not have your videos be too sharp or like over sharp or over contrasty because that is going to look weird. Maybe your eyeshadow is going to look choppy. Maybe your pores is going to look more prominent, even though they aren't in real life. So put that to the lowest. And if you feel like you need to change it in editing, you can change it in editing. I'm not going to teach you anything about editing. I know people are like, show me how you edit. And I honestly, I need someone to show me how to edit. I'm the worst at editing. I am using uh, the Sony Vegas Pro. Is it even called that? This, this, this is it. I will put what I use down below. Same here. I learned everything I know from YouTube tutorials. And I would say that if it's something specific you want to learn, you go to YouTube and you put the program that you have, which for me is the Sony Vegas Pro, and I put how to put picture in picture. And you will get a short tutorial showing you how to do that and you can progress from that. The only things I do with editing is cutting in between, putting some transitions in between. I use the ones that are in the program because I don't know how to fix my own. And I put on some music sometimes. I put some picture on picture and that's it. That's all I do. And sometimes I will add some contrast if I feel like that is lacking because I lost some 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 along the way that is that is it that is everything i do in editing and there is absolutely nothing that you can learn from me trust me on this one because i am the worst at editing but i will say i used to use the windows movie maker when i started if you're just starting out with youtube that is fine that is fine it's totally fine or the um what is it called an apple the Mo iMovie is that it everything is with an i <laughs> I think it's called that, but like the ones that are free, because the movie maker, Windows Movie Maker is free, that is fine. That is okay. You don't need more. You're 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 fine. Start out with that in the beginning. Don't pay for something un until you know that it's something that you really want to go for. Like it's something that you are passionate about and you are willing to put some money down. I got uh, this editing program as a Christmas gift last year. So I, I've just had this for a year. That's as long as I've had like a more advanced uh, editing software. And that is, that's, that is fine by me. I don't use it to the fullest potential and I don't think I ever will. And I'm totally fine with that. But start with something simple and then get the more advanced one if you feel like youtube is a passion and you feel like you want to get a better one i have a pc because i i love computer games and most people don't play computer games on a apple computer because it makes no sense no sense at all. Uh, so I have a PC and if you also have a PC, I would actually recommend the Sony Vegas one because I think it's absolutely amazing. And if you are very interested in doing videos and you want to like pursue making better videos on YouTube, I am more than happy with the Sony Vegas one. I will let you know though that if you have a very old computer or if you, your graphics card isn't the best, you might struggle a bit and it might be a bit slow on you because the program is advanced and it is requiring you to have a pretty good computer. My computer is very up to date because I hate playing computer games and not being able to play them at the best graphics. So my computer is pretty, pretty good and pretty advanced. So I'm just letting you know, if you have a very old computer, maybe you will have some problems uh, putting this pretty advanced program on it. I'm just letting you know. So yeah, I think that was everything for me letting you know on like some basic stuff. There's gonna be another light in the background for me in a bit. Uh, because I want to light up the background a bit more because having some more light in the background is giving it's, it's doing something with the settings. It's doing something with the settings. Don't forget to check out the description box I will put all of the info there. I am gonna uh, Wait, 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 wait I'm gonna film with this one. This is the camera that I'm taking my pictures with. This is uh, this is my vlog camera and this is the camera that I am taking my selfies on, the one that you see on my Instagram. This is a Sony Alpha 5100. Uh, it has a flip screen like this. It's really nice, but I wouldn't recommend this for YouTube filming because it has a smoothing filter that is really hard to turn off actually. But it, I mean, it's a good vlog camera. I have managed to turn turn off the smoothing filter though. It is perf it is 
it is possible but it is a bit tricky but it's great for vlogging because you can turn up the like the flip screen like this and it does have a bunch of settings and you can film on manual on this one as well but I use this to take pictures, I think it's really good for that, and I use it for vlogging. I might get another vlogging camera though, if I am pursuing vlogging a bit more. But I'm gonna use this now when I film throughout this room and show you how everything is set up. I've already talked for 10 minutes, I'm gonna try and keep this a bit shorter. And if you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. I will try and answer as much of them as possible. But let me tell you, I have been on YouTube for a bit over three years now, and this is as long as it's taken me to get some of some kind of grasp of these things. And I think the best way of learning is just to see your time on YouTube as a journey. We all start somewhere, nobody starts with perfect quality. We start somewhere and we slowly progress and we end up at a place where we're like, you know what, I really like this. I also want to let you know that I don't have a uh, audio filming. I don't have an audio filming. Uh, so I actually film with the camera camera microphone and I, that works fine for me. I actually did order a microphone but it didn't arrive to me so I actually got my money back and then I ended up not buying another one. I might buy that at some point but right now I don't have separate audio and I think I'm doing okay so just keep that in mind as well. So yeah before this turned into a total uh, tomb I am gonna show you how my setup is and if you have any questions let me know down below and Let's get into it. Okay, so this is what the room looks like and this is where my setup is. So I will back out a bit so you can see how the room is. This is this is junk because I got some packages and I haven't been able to get rid of it. And as you can see, this table normally isn't here either because we had some guests in our guest room and we had to move this table out. That, that table is normally not there because this is the space where I put my lights when I'm not filming so if you just i'm standing at the entrance of the room this is what it looks if you look in so this is what you see in the background of my movies and as you can see this room isn't that dark but the lens or the camera can only capture the lights that are in here in the beginning that's why i need some kind of light to go and just get some light in the background as well. So I will move to the front so you can see, this is the chair that I sit in and this is normally where my cat is. I have a small table in front of me that I put all my stuff uh, when I'm filming. This is the, how the background is looking. It's, it's, <laughs> it's so messy. This is why I need a blurry uh, because I can't deal with it. I have like a cloth rack here and this is some more. So this is where I sit and I have two boxes and a ring light and the camera in the middle and i just sit here and when i film i will either have this chair a bit out when i'm trying to get more of a half shot of me or i will scooch all the way to the front for this lens to be able to capture like my face and uh, this is what it looks like from the back uh, i used to have my camera here on my ring light but this camera is a bit more heavy so i decided to instead have this camera on a separate stand so as you can see i have one stand for each softbox and then i have one stand for the ring light and then i have one stand for the camera and let me turn this one off this one has a dimmer and i will just put this to the side so we can Okay, so this camera has a flip screen, so I try and flip- wow, that needs cleaning. So I try to flip it out and this is the viewfinder I have. I am thinking about getting a laptop like on the side here so I can actually see myself in a bigger way uh, when I'm filming because this is kind of hard actually. But if you look at the camera, let me switch this over a bit so we can see a bit better. Ooh. What is going on? <laughs> Have you seen me here in the mirror by the way? Do you see me? With my this I am having my PJs on and like a short top. So this is my PJs and it's actually a onesie PJ, so I just tied it at the <laughs> at the front. Yeah, that, that's how sexy I am when I'm filming. This is a Canon EOS 80D. You can see it here. This is what I have. I wanted to buy the 70D, but it was being discontinued, I think. So I bought this one. I bought it with the kit lens. That is what I used before, but now I'm using this other lens to get this to be a bit blur in the background. I know not everyone likes that, but I like that. And I'm doing this channel for me. So that is what I'm doing. This lens is by Sigma. I will put, it is a Sigma, uh, 18 to 35 millimeters 1.8 f-stop it has it is 
Hmm, it is quiet, but not super quiet. You can put autofocus or manual focus here, and I'm trying to film with manual focus when I'm filming close up because that's when you really can hear it, and autofocus when I'm filming more. Eh like when I'm more scooched away because then you don't hear it as much but it is a learning curve but I'm really liking the quality with this new lens so I'm so happy I bought it it has a zoom option and that is what the 18 to 35 millimeters mean that you can zoom in and out and this one is for setting the focus when you have manual focus on let me see if I can put this um on so you can let me switch the lights out a bit so we can put this on oh yeah it was on just so this is what it looks like in the viewfinder when it's on. Let me see if I can... Is that better? You can see now that I have uh, 320... I don't even know what that is. But my... I don't know the English words. But you can see my settings right here anyways. And the f-stop is 1.8. I don't know what these are called in English. That's why I'm not saying it. But I will put all the info down below. But here you can see how my setup looks here. And if I put something in front of here, you can see... No, you can't because I put it on. Oh, yeah, I did. Wait. <laughs> you can see that it will focus on this one. And the background will become blurry. I hope you can see it. And if I move it away, the autofocus will change and the background becomes sharp again. That's how I like to have it. I know that not everyone likes it, but I like it like that. Also, a tip that I will be giving for you is to invest in a very big memory card. That will help so much. It'll help me so much because it's so annoying to have to change memory cards all the time when you're filming. I just switched this out like this and then I'm filming. And I, I, I genuinely hate that. Hate having to change my memory card all the time. So invest in a bigger memory card. That will help you so much. But yeah, that is my filming setup. That is how I am set up when I'm filming. This is how my background is looking. It's a bit messy. It's okay. It's a bit messy, but it's okay. I'm, I'm doing my best here, but I'm gonna have another light coming from here. As you can see, I have drapes on the side as well, and that helps a lot with getting rid of echo. If you are struggling with echo in your videos, fabric will help. I have drapes, I have drapes here, and I also have a rug on the, uh, the floor to help with echo. So yeah, I think that was everything. Do let me know if you have any more questions down below. I'm always open to answering some questions. All the info will be in the description box. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow for a new video. Bye!